Let's go up for another one. So this is a GM level cast. We've got a special for you with another streamer. Here's a cast in the top left hand corner uh, representing one of the top anime of uh, 2018 and actually doing a very poor job of role playing this character. Playing Terran in the red it is Goblin Slayer. <clears throat> and I don't know if you're reading the chat, but we've got, we've got, what, boosted accusations, account sharing accusations, and uh, insults, all within the first 35 seconds toward him, none other than the Queen Bee of the Bee Fam herself, this is Livy Bee, on Kairos, which is a Terran map, good luck, good luck, throw in some counter banter here too. And what, what is the build order of choice? We're not just insulting a person in the StarCraft community. We're building two barracks with two SCVs, very neatly nestled between this pillar here and this crate of minerals. I, I really wish you could use these. I just see them and it's like, can't you just send a worker over there and pick it up and get like five minerals or 10 this like this here this here i don't know how you get gm poor goblin slayer he just he can't even breathe it's just like can't believe that someone could achieve something that i haven't and they're they're not a man how is this possible it's just it doesn't fit with this person's perspective it's just a constant challenge so we're just going to put her to the test with a, a bunker rush, I guess. This is going to help him sort out his worldview. Maybe. Okay. We've got hatch gas pool. Queen in the main base. The bunker is done. The hatch is under attack. It's a disaster. What are we going to do? Two spine crawlers. Overlords. Staying alive in the main base, trying to keep it together. Another bunker is being built behind this. We've got two supply depots. It's still open here at the natural. All right, SCVs in the main base, mule drop. Marines coming up here. Hatch is about halfway. It's getting pretty low. It's pretty dicey. So we're, we're battling against a proxy bunker marine cheese, plus insults and accusations. And, and now we're also insulting another member of the community at the same time. So this is just taking stabs in so many directions at once. And you also win? Because every word that you type is an investment. You could have been microing. You could have been working on your business at home, your transition to this. But we chose to type instead. Just throwing insults at the opponent instead of macro, micro, and decision making. Let's see if it pays off here. Livy is supply blocked. Goblin Slayer is ahead in supply. Just throwing another insult. Just running away. Running away from the base of the Marines. And I don't like your channel either. It's not good content. And you're a bad player. Just running back and then hiding in the main base. Is it, is it gonna get to her though? Another Overlord dies. Goblin Slayer's gotta be feeling very puffed up and accomplished right now. Look what I did. <laughs> but she's fuming right now. Up in the main base. Gonna make a Hellion, cancel it, and go for a tech lab on the factory. That's some top level decision making right here. This has gotta be, this has gotta be a very smart player. This is all part of their master plan to make a name for themselves, right? And this is the thing. If you can't make a name for yourself by building up the community and spreading joy and happiness in people's lives, you could always just be a nasty villain. So that's what Goblin Slayer is doing here. It's like, well, I don't really have too much going for me in the positives, so I could just be a super villain, I guess. So we'll see how this pans out. We're going for a third command center. Got some Marines here. Starport Tech Lab is the 
the setup of choice Banshee is on the way. Nice, nice. SCV production in the main. Let's take a look at the units tab. We've got 21 drones. This queen is just trying her best. It's a long process. Killing a barracks with the queen. But you can tell she's just going to keep at it. Just one at a time. It's on fire now. So it's actually taking some damage from the fire. But this is a scout. It's scouting this base. Everything is revealed. There's a gas pool. You can see the building skins by the war chest. Using one of the streamer's links or something, I guess. Okay, we got two spines, two queens. These links did chase away this base. So there was an attack here that we weren't focused on because we were focusing on the burning barracks. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. But for whatever reason, the player is ahead in supply. How did how did she get ahead in supply? Okay, this is important. There's a banshee here. This is the next piece of this Terran's um, villainous puzzle. We've got a banshee. It's denying creep spread. It's getting a scout. It's moving. This is micro. This is where a Terran player shows how superb they are at the video game. Absolute monster level control. Just super fast. Making the adjustments on the fly to see where you gotta go. Know where you're gonna harass and scout. Getting the damn. That was actually the worst thing that could have physically happened. At least this banshee killed five zerglings. And now we can reestablish mining at this base. Okay. We have mules. These guys... These guys are like... Those kids that sit in the back of the class and just hope that... Hope that the teacher doesn't notice. Yeah. This is like further committing to the accusation that there is a... There must be a man playing this account. Because it's not possible that you could be just... Destroying me as a woman. You know because stereotypes or something. But um, this is the situation. We've got a 56 supply Zerg against 41 supply Terran. Um, there's been lots of banter. This is a very heated debate here about who's the best. This Banshee has got seven kills. It's got to feel really proud of itself at this point. And what is the transition here? Because this has all been kind of the early game harass and scouting and whatnot. Okay, so we've got bio. So we've got the commitment to the combat shields. Stim is done. More barracks are on the way. We're having a good time. This is a nice... I was going to say friendly, but I'm not going to say that. This is, this is basically anything but friendly, if you think about it. That... It's a flying unit. You can fly anywhere. Away from the Queen Overseer. Like, to the left, down, this way, this way. It's just... He doesn't really have it. Like, you gotta be snappy, you gotta be sharp with the control. Usually when you insult someone and call them bad, you would want to represent that you are playing better, not, like, throw banshees into queens. It would just make them confused, right? Because they're like, oh, this person must be amazing. And then another banshee flies into your queens, and you're like, what is this? What is this? But it could be a really elaborate scheme to kind of show I can throw banshees into your queens and still win. That might be. That might be what's happening. All right, we've got medivacs here. This is a diverse drop. We have widow mines and marines in this drop. We're boosting in. Medivac boost. Got to get there fast. Oh, there's some Hellions, too. Okay. Dropping a Marine, getting a good trade with the Banes. These Queens. Trying to help out. Killing a Hellion. I mean, we lost a Medivac and all the stuff in it, but it's... There is a, we got away with a Hellion and a Medivac. Couple mules dropped here. Widow mine here for defense. 
Goblin Slayer is up in supply. Using that stimmed bio to try and defend this stuff. Pulling SCVs. Mineral walking to escape. What do we have for tech-wise? A hive? Pathogen glands? Muscle augments for the hydralisks? We've got gases. 1-1 one, one upgrades for melee and carapace. This space is perfectly saturated. Gases at the fourth base. Creep spread is actively past mid-map. This is a mounting problem for the Terran. The more Betty Vacs are being boosted in here. Gonna do a double drop in the main base. Marines, Marauders, Hellions, and a Widow Mine. Taking out a Queen. Throw in one of these mines. Okay, Drilling Claws is not done. Couple veins coming up. Oh, nice pickup control here. The Baneling Nest is getting pretty low. That's a pretty crucial structure for Zerg. Queens trying to transfuse each other. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. Got him. Got him. Oh, one of the Queens was focused down, but the... Everything died. Again. Now the nice thing about losing all your units is you can just go back and focus on your macro after that. So that's a plus side, I guess. Two two upgrades from these engineering bays are coming up. We've got SCV production, constant. Most of the production is working. Well, some of it. Ouch. You know, that's real compassion, you know, when you you just destroy all of your opponent's army and you feel a little bit bad for it. Like there was a lot of potential in those medivacs in that bio, and it just didn't pan out for you, did it? Nope just fell flat on its face and in a fiery explosion in my main. It's sad. Okay, the Marines. Oh, look at these splits. Marine split challenge. That was a trade. Oh, the mine kills an infester. But the army is forced to pull back. Escaped with two Widow Mines and three Medivacs. This is called conserving your units. Look at this. We're seeing improvement live in this match. More mule drops here. And we see the traditional Terran gas float now. We're at 600 to 700 gas. There's some debate in the community about should you get gas? Like, are you, do you spend the gas? Do you tech up? Like, what do you do? Okay, there's a fungal on this medivac. Mines are controlling this area. The creep is being maintained, so we're kind of going around. This creep tumor is a bit of a problem. I mean, it's actively encroaching on the Zerg's natural expansion, which you don't normally want it there if you're trying to win. More mines being burrowed. Getting a nice setup for this bio, taking a high ground position. Infestors. Broodlords? How do we kill those? Broodlord and Fester Queen. It's a very high-tech army. Of not but simple bio here. Why you gotta go and build in tier 3 tech? It's tough. It's almost like she's legit and she's just like crushing. It's tough. It's gotta be tough. Because you're trying to micro your bio and you're having an existential crisis at the same time. Okay. Well, this is a big drop in the main base. The infestation pit is killed. Baneling Nest is killed. Getting some damage here. Oh no! Everything was fungled. Flee for your lives. No one escaped. At least they killed this base with a drop. That's micro, right? Multitasking. Was it worth it? Do you think it was worth it? Do you think it was worth it? Is this worth it? He just shot his own command center. Guy is a mess right now.
Okay. So we do have more drops on the way because the other ones were so effective. We're gonna keep with this. We're gonna keep with the rhythm here. Gotta go left, right, left, right, bobbing and weaving. That's a good widow mine hit. Okay. All right, all right. The chest is puffed up. I just killed an infester. Feeling pretty good, you know? Feeling good like you just put a suit on. You're all dressed up nice, fresh, and clean. Just aced your exam. I just killed an infester with a widow mine, guys. It's time to sass my opponent. That's gonna teach him. That'll get him going. Okay, so Goblin Slayer, feeling pretty confident about that Widow Mind hit. This is gonna be a good game. We've got this in the bag. Look at this. This extractor doesn't stand a chance. It's on fire. It's barely even alive at this point. <clears throat> Okay, there's a Viking transition. Yeah, I can see where the confidence is coming from. We've got solutions to this problem. I mean, yeah, there's creep spread actively at the natural expansion, but... We've got Vikings. We've got insults. We've got drops. We killed an infester. Feeling pretty strong in this position. Let's get a wide angle on this. There's a lot of units here. So it's Brood Lords. Eight brood lords, twelve corruptors, eight veins, four infestors, nine queens, five hydras, eleven limbs. Against marine marauder medivac mine. Okay, we're gonna need some top level control here to be able to defend this. One of the problems is there are fewer vikings than there are corruptors, so how do the vikings... Okay, okay, the marauders are boosting in here, killing some of these infestors. Just killed three infestors! And now there's a ghost transition coming out. We're teching up here. This is looking good. Oh my goodness, Goblin Slayer disconnected. Do you think they could have held here? They did have a Marauder and uh, six mines. I don't know. I don't think they could have defended that. GG. It's always... It's nice to win a StarCraft game. There's a little bit of extra... sauce of justice, retribution, and righteousness when someone is just a total ass to you for 20 minutes. And you also completely annihilate them in the game those banshees though that was that was kind of upsetting to see that but, gg that was a lucky win next day